In this logic tutorial, we are going to set up your logic session to score to picture. Before we begin, you should know that each cue or song you write for a film is its own logic session. For reasons that I'll explain later, you cannot put more than one song in a session. So for example, if you are hired to score a movie and there are 12 tracks you need to complete, you must make 12 logic sessions. Thankfully today, you will only be making one. The first thing I want you to do that's unrelated to this lesson is to hit option K to open up your key command customization window. Logic has a function called rewind one frame and forward one frame that allows you to move across your timeline frame by frame. As of the date on this video, there is no default key command for this. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the key command that is the same as in Pro Tools, just to make my life easier. First, I search for the key command name. And then you want to hit learn by key label and whichever keystroke you hit next will be memorized by logic. For rewind one frame, I set it to the comma key. And for the forward one frame, I set it to the period key. Same as in Pro Tools. Syncing your video to picture is very easy, but you need to follow these steps. If you are a student in my class, I will provide a text version of this lesson for you to follow along. Those of you who come from the editing world, in a lot of editing software like Premiere or Avid, generally you put an entire reel or the entire film into one session. In film composing and in logic, we separate things into cues or songs, meaning that each logic session will be one start and stop of a tune, meaning that each logic session will basically be the duration of one musical cue. The reason for this is that there can only be one measure one in a piece of music. When you generate a score for a musician to play, measure one usually corresponds to the beginning of the piece. Logic is not set up to have more than one start point, so you must create a new session if you want to write another song. If there are two songs to your entire film, then you must have two Logic sessions. In the white menu bar above, select File, then Movie, then open movie. Navigate to the video that you would like to score and check the box that says import the audio track. Even though you will delete or mute this audio track later, it is important to bring all the audio in so that you have a reference point. If I'm scoring a movie with temp music in it, or the soundtrack contains some music written by another composer, I also like to hear that to see where the director was coming from. Once you have your movie in the timeline, the arrange window of logic, go to the list editor on the right, which is delineated by a little button that has three lines on it. Under the list editor, hit the tempo tab. This is where you will locate the first frame of picture so that you can line it up to measure one in logic. You can see the measure numbers right by where the region locator bar is. In that events field, you will see a timecode number. When you import a video into Logic, Logic will assume that the first frame of the video that you bring in is to be lined at measure one. But let's say, for example, you want your piece of music to start after the countdown or later in the film, say a minute in or five minutes in. What you have to do is find out what the time code is of where you want to start the picture and then line that time code up with measure one. Now that you've set up your comma and period key to move forward one frame at a time, you can easily jump to that exact point where you want the picture to start. Hit the plus sign to add an event to the tempo list. Now you have two things in the tempo list. Copy paste the numbers that you see in the second field into the first field. After you hit return, you will notice that your video moves to adjust. Now hit return one more time to bring your cursor to measure one. Now measure one of logic is lined up to first frame of picture. Now we are ready to add tracks and populate those tracks with instruments.